Despite the Gamecocks leading by 10 at the break, it was not one of their cleanest of games in the first half on the offensive end as they committed 12 turnovers heading into the break. But once they got into the second half, it was like a switch was just flipped as USC went on to score 49 points in the second half alone compared to Clemson who put up 45 for the entire game. So what was the secret? What was the key at the break? Was there any rah-rah speech from Don Staley? Well, mm, not quite. Coach came in and she just talked about how we just need to take care of the ball, make sure we're getting shots at the basket, and how we need to be the aggressor. Um, don't just kind of let them push us around. So that's what she said, and then we came out in the second half. Was oh, she angry? No. <laughs> I mean, I just said that we we just we weren't playing our, our style of play. I think we were. I mean, we were we were prepared for their style of play and what and how they were going to play us. We just didn't execute. I thought they sped us up. I thought their defense bothered us. I, I thought we just we played faster than we needed to, to play too fast that we couldn't either, we couldn't read the floor. So it led to some um, just some real ugly play on both sides of the ball. Perhaps one of the things that was holding this team back in the first half is the fact that there were so many pregame festivities. The players from last year's squad received their Final Four rings, and in addition to that, there was an unveiling of the Final Four banner from last season. But if you ask Dawn Staley, is she satisfied with that banner? Not quite. She wants bigger banners to go up at CLA. When I saw the, the banner you know, being unveiled, I'm like, I, I like bigger ones. <laughs> I mean, like... You know, you, you, you see it, you know, versus the um, national championship, and then you see the, you know, number one ranking is significantly smaller. <laughs> and we want to put big banners up. No, it's nothing, take nothing away from our success. Um, but we, we know what it feels like on more than one occasion to go to the Final Four and not win. I mean, winning is, is definitely a lot more exciting to unveil a, um, a banner, but I mean, I think it, it goes to show just our sustained success. I mean, and it's hard to do in any profession, in any sport, um, but our, our team seems to be able to do that over the years, and it's just the commitment of our players. I mean, they, they can go other places and do other things and, and, and be just fine, but they chose to come here and that's why we, we've had the success that we've had in the history of our, you know, of our program. With the win on Wednesday night, South Carolina has now won the last 11 meetings against Clemson. And how about this? The all-time series between the two schools, it's now tied up at 33 wins apiece. South Carolina, who just had no answer for Clemson in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, have battled all the way back to tie this series up. So what's next for USC? Well, a trip to the Bahamas on Saturday to take on Buffalo. Reporting from Colonial Life Arena, I'm Mike Yuba, Gamecock Central.